radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. Hey babes and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. I'm super excited to get into it today because today we are doing a pick a card on what is going on in love for the month of May. So before we get into it, check me out on Etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. That's where all tarot readings are going through for your protection. Be aware of fake Instagram accounts. I'll never DM you first or anything like that. And my only Insta is directly below. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check me out on Patreon as well. I post my personal spells, exclusive pick a cards and all sorts of stuff on there. Um, and beyond that, we're just going to get right into it. So you can pick more than one pile. We have group one with the pink stone, group two with the yellow stone, group three with the white stone and group four with the red stone. So just take three deep mindful breaths, center yourself and your intuition and pick the pile or the piles you're being called to and we're just going to get started. All right, group one with the pink stone and let's get right into it. The month of May, what is going on in love? So the first card that we have that was under your stone is engagement. This one says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So that's a very exciting, that's an exciting place to start. Whoa, a bunch just fell. Month of May, what's going on in love? We have keep an open mind that just came out. Ooh, interesting, okay. Oh, wow. All right, so let's start here. Stay optimistic about your love life and keep an open mind, you guys. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. That's where we're starting here. And the universe is saying, I really feel like group one, the universe is gonna send you someone new, like someone that you wouldn't typically go for, someone you wouldn't typically date or entertain. It's just like the energy of someone who, they're a little different from your usual type. Um, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations is what it says at the bottom and keep an open mind so the universe is definitely hinting that you guys it's going to be best for you to be open to kind of whatever comes to you at this point we have true love so i feel like the universe has someone specifically picked out for you guys that it's sending to you this is a romance of a lifetime is what it says at the bottom of that card. So definitely not something you want to miss out on. Um, it is safe for you to love, give your relationship a chance, and free yourself. I honestly feel like this is saying to free yourself from any low vibrational emotions, any thoughts, feelings that don't serve you anymore. Um, you know, last bit of shadow work that needs to be completed. Free yourself from yesterday. <coughs> any, anything that's holding you back. Any person that still feels like they have an energetic attachment to you or feels like they still have access to you, but you're like, no, don't want anything to do with that anymore, go ahead and do a cord cutting ritual or something like that. Pay someone else to do one for you because tapping into that energy, you really want to get off the energy of yesterday and the months and the, and the years prior where you were learning things so that you can move forward with the wisdom, but not with that energy, that vibration or any sadness attached there still. Um, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And if you're still hanging on to those lower vibrational emotions, you may still feel like you have to protect yourself. And we should all protect ourselves, but not to the point where we're just flat out blacking people out, giving people a hard time unnecessarily, because that's not attractive. Best case scenario, you meet someone who can love you through all the thorns and prickles, but that's not common today, to be honest. It's already rough out here, so don't make it harder for yourself. Um, Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership is what it says at the bottom of that one. So <clears throat> the universe is definitely telling you to open up. Let's see what else we get for you guys. And you know that you should. <laughs> yeah, we have the high priestess, the emperor in reverse, and the ace of swords. You guys. 
you know you know that you have to turn down that emperor energy tap into your inner high priestess internally you do know that it's time to open up again you can feel that you're ready and this ace of swords represents you having the proper tools to know how to get out of a situation like if someone isn't treating you correctly you know how to get out of it but you can't put all these blocks and barriers up up front because first of all people aren't honest so it doesn't matter like it it's, it doesn't you know make a difference to ask someone you know promise me that you'll never hurt me or you know try to get them to communicate to you that they're a certain kind of person you really do just have to watch their behavior and see because people be out here lying prince of swords in reverse the eight of swords and the ace of cups in reverse some of you guys are really kind of afraid some of you guys aren't actually ready i feel but i feel like someone is coming through regardless so that's why the universe is telling you to free yourself because we got the chariot that just came out things are speeding up you're moving forward and not just moving forward for the purpose of getting into something new but moving forward in balance is really the true essence of the chariot taking the lead <clears throat> Let's see what else we get. We got the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. That's better. Nine of Wands in reverse. Even if you don't know exactly where you're going to end up, I'm definitely getting a message that it's important for you guys to be open, group one, um, and to not limit yourself because there is the energy of someone that I can already pick up on walking into your life. They're trying to come through in the month of May, but some of you guys are kind of energetically repelling them. And for some of you guys, when this person come, comes into your life, you're immediately like super quick to be like, mm, no, you remind me of, you know, this person or no, I, no, you're coming at me wrong. Mm, I don't like the way you chew. Like, it's just kind of ridiculous. Some of you guys, the standards that you're setting on your people, but you're missing out on long lasting relationships that have a lot of potential. So the universe is like, get out of that energy, you guys. So we can finally push forward. We got blessed and message in a bottle. So someone is coming through with communication. Someone has really good communication skills, and this may be something that you were lacking in your last situation or your last relationship. Maybe they weren't a good communicator. Like I'm tapping into the energy of someone who's saying, I would have been fine with the truth if you would just if you would have just told me like that this was a friends with benefits situation and you didn't want things to grow. I honestly would have been fine with that versus you giving me hope to kind of hold on and think that this was going to lead to a relationship, you know? Like I'm tapping into someone's energy who's saying that. So we have building blocks and regeneration, you guys. That building blocks energy is definitely your energy. I'm feeling like you have some blocks up, you have some walls up that people have to get through, but the universe is saying this is regeneration, a whole new start, a whole new opportunity. From the concrete, who knew that a flower would grow? Like something so beautiful from just a space that you never thought love could be found in, and that's you guys growing, ready, renewed. We have not for you new life and poised, so you are being asked to separate from the past in a very poised way from an emotionally um mature kind of way for yourself not so other people could get off scot-free i'm also tapping into an energy of some of you guys feeling like someone didn't get their karma because you look at karma as something that's supposed to happen for someone else versus abundance happening to you so you're waiting for someone else to get their karma and you're feeling like karma hasn't played out when really your karma is getting this new relationship. It doesn't have anything to do with that other person suffering because of what they did, you know? And so some of you guys, because you're, you know, hyper-focused on someone else and you're seeing them live their life and enjoy their life, you're not seeing that you have an opportunity right in front of you to enjoy your life and live your life and move on and experience true love. So... There's a lot of lessons wrapped up in the month of May for you guys, but honestly, I see it's on to brighter and better days. We got new life, not for you. What for you, what's for you won't miss you. It just won't. And what wasn't for you was plucked out of your life. I feel group one and it's time to expand. So yeah, that's what I got for you. Check me out on Etsy in the description below. That's where I do private readings through for your protection. Be aware of fake Instagram accounts. I'll never DM you first or anything like that. Asking if you want to read my only Insta is directly below. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check me out on Patreon as well. I post my personal spells, um, collective spreads, and so much more on there. And that was your pal. I'll talk to you later. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. All right, group.
back to it with the Yellowstone. Let's get right into it. The month of May. What is going on in love for you guys? So the first card we have is let your friends help you. I just heard redemption. I feel like some of you guys are allowing your, your friends to get you excited again, get you back in the dating pool, maybe help you meet someone new. Tapping into this energy, I feel like an energy of you guys feeling yourself again. Ask for and accept support from others is what it says at the bottom of that card. I'm also tapping into the energy of someone who has a potential love connection through a friend. So it wouldn't hurt to ask around like, ahaha, you know anyone that's single? You know, like just to see. Um, because tapping in, I am getting that for, for someone. There is potential through a friend. Ooh, someone wants to date their friend, I'm hearing. Okay, we'll see how this unfolds. Ah. What are the messages for group two? All right, we have chemistry and passion. There's those. Chemistry says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Passion says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So yeah, you guys, I feel like you guys really are ready. I feel like you're really ready. And with that passion card, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That's like an energy of allowing yourself to be excited again, which goes back to the friend thing, allowing yourself to be connected to new people, people who are open to dating, you know, people who are open to getting to know someone new as well. We have retreat, stay optimistic about your love life and trust. So now I'm tapping into an energy for some of you where you had to let someone go and that situation really kind of rocked you, maybe even changed you a bit as a person. And now you're coming back. You're coming back to yourself, feeling more like yourself as the days go on. And you're wondering like, you know, okay, I, I think I'm ready. You're trying to move forward. Like, and for some of you, it's just heartbreaking. Um, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Some of you I do see, and it's very few of you to be honest, I do see you're ending up back with that person. But for most of you, you made a decision that you were going to move on, you know? So, retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So that's why it's important for you guys to allow your friends to help you so you can get back into the swing of things. see oh we got the six of swords so you guys are surrendering it's like an energy like it's above me now like you're choosing not to be stressed about whatever happened anymore wow and allowing divine justice to play out for you guys we got the six of swords justice and the four of wands four of wands is an indicator of soul made energy so you may have experienced a soulmate and have another one on the way we all have multiple soulmates so I feel like whoever you experienced last and I, I do get an energy where you guys are pretty like um, you guys are in a pretty decent place after everything that has happened. You guys are pretty healed for the most part like group two. I'm tapping into your group and it feels like you guys have grown and evolved from whatever you had been through. And you're ready to start off on a new foot. But the four of wands is definitely an indicator of soulmate energy. So it looks like you guys are having a soulmate come through and I was just talking to group one about this about how karma they were kind of looking at it as if they were waiting for something to happen to the person who had done them wrong whereas with you guys you're accepting your positive karma you know karma is about you not about something happening to someone else so yeah tapping into your energy I feel like your positive karma is playing out and I'm happy for you guys. Now we got the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. So there is a reluctancy that you guys do have to building towards something new. A reluctancy to build something new to start all over, I'm hearing as well. see we got the ten of pentacles in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse so there's an energy of not wanting to get hurt again 
I'm feeling for you guys not wanting to end up in the same situation but all I can say is you have to trust yourself you have to know yourself you have to know what your triggers are know what you typically go for what activates your impulse control is it the mystery in someone is it the coldness it's in someone is that what you're attracted to was Twilight your favorite movie growing up like <laughs> tapping into this energy you have to know what kind of sets you off about someone so you can make sure you don't end up going for the same type of people that don't really have very much to offer in terms of a long-lasting relationship six of pentacles knight of swords in reverse there is a need to trust yourself to trust yourself trust that you will not end up back in the situations that you have been in before because now you have the tools to get like to navigate in a situation like that some of you guys are having a hard time some of you guys are isolating yourself a bit like intentionally like you know isolation isn't just about physically staying away from people it's also about not putting you know not putting out anything online not maybe online dating or you know talking to people making connections especially if you're in like school if you see someone cute in their your class and like intentionally ignoring them instead of shooting your shot <clears throat> we have here and now a new life so the universe is saying you got to be present in this current moment to take advantage of the energy that you have because like i said some of you guys are just not really not really wanting to open yourself up back up no, I can't talk. Open yourself back up again. But it's a matter of trusting yourself and knowing that, yes, you've been through these things before. You'll know how to identify it before you get in too deep this time. We have imagine and happy, happy. So I will say better times are definitely on the way for you guys. Better times are definitely on the way. And it's a matter of trusting that. Also, with that imagine card, some of you guys may want to get into some meditation. Um, the universe is definitely suggesting that meditation can help you guys to kind of recalibrate and really feel yourself. Like, get back into your energy. So yeah, you guys, that's what I have for you. Check me out on Etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. Um, I don't do payment through Instagram DM. Be aware of fake accounts. My only Insta is directly below. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel. And check me out on Patreon as well. I post my personal spells, collective spreads, and so much more on there. And yeah, you guys, that was your pile. I'll talk to you later. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. All right, group three with the white stone. Let's get right into it. Love for the month of May for you guys. So the first card that we have that was under your stone is very soon. This one says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So I feel like you guys have been getting yourselves ready, getting prepared for things to escalate to the next level. Whether that's you not being single anymore or you taking things up to the next level with someone that you're already kind of dealing with. The universe is telling you to decide what it is that you want though. I just heard they're undecided. So I'm tapping into an energy of some of you talking to some people romantically and they haven't officially decided what it is that they want. And the universe is kind of challenging you like, okay, are you going to wait for it? Or do you want, you know, to be sent your next contender? We have let, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. For some of you, it is honestly a matter of patience. But for some of you, you truly have waited long enough. You'll know what side of the spectrum you're on. We're not asking like, you know, do you love this person? Do you care for this person? It is, have you waited long enough? So don't feel like just because you really love them and care for them that that means, no, you need to wait a little bit longer. Because there's definitely a difference. We have let go of control issues, let your friends help you in past life relationship. There's those. A past life relationship, you have known each other before. So if you feel really magnetized by this person, that's a part of the reason. I feel like you guys were divinely guided into each other's lives. And it's just one of those things where it's like, you're, you're, you kind of have a purpose to fulfill together. So you're going to be more, you're going to be more, willing to kind of work with them and kind of wait for them to come around let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others maybe you need to change your approach to this person i'm picking up on an energy of someone who's a little resistant in the beginning this could be someone that you're meeting in the month of may or someone that you already know regardless 
but I feel like this person, they have to be, I'm hearing intellectually stimulated, like this person, they need stimulation in another way to kind of get them hooked. And you feel so magnetized towards this person and you're like, I know that there's something here, but you're getting just like, not even a resistance from them, but just kind of like this aloof energy. I've dated someone like this before where it was so hard to like hook them, like to get them to like invest and um yeah yeah I, I get this energy for sure it's kind of just about being more creative with your approach to them uh let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally so for some of you I feel like working on yourself or just presenting the best version of yourself is going to be the best way to get through to this person and then just being patient with them we have engagement um, it is safe for you to love and chemistry here. So honestly, group three, this is actually a pretty promising message because I feel like this is one of those connections that have a slow build. And typically those slow build connections last longer. It's not just like, oh, we tripped and fell into love and then all of a sudden we actually get to know each other after the fact that we're already in love and then we realize we're not compatible at all. This is like a situation with someone where it's like, no, they wanna make sure that you guys are actually compatible. They wanna actually get to know you. So they're in no rush and you can feel that and you're you're taking it almost as if okay this person doesn't want to be with me when really it's just like this person is just taking their time chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so they feel it too but they're not the type of person to wear their heart on their sleeve they don't show their hand they don't make it crystal clear intentionally i feel like they learned like through a past experience that um you know, like holding back can be good, at least in the beginning somewhat. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give the highest in, to give and receive the highest energy of all. So the universe is saying this is a safe bet for you. This is someone you should allow yourself to love, but it's just gonna be a bit of a slow build. Okay, you had me in the first half because I was like, ooh, this is looking a little dicey. Um, engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And then we have that confirmation. All right. Okay, all right. Let's see what comes from the tarot. That was a horrible shuffle. <clears throat> what are the messages for group three? Yeah, we got the moon and the ace of swords in reverse. You know, I feel like this is a lover and a lesson all in one. And the lesson is definitely patience because we have the moon. There's confusion here. And you guys kind of want to pursue this. You want to make it happen. You want to get to the end of it already. You want to figure it out. You want answers. And the universe is kind of forcing you to get comfortable and not knowing. And this is a life lesson that's going to, you know, transfer to so, so many other areas of your life. You know... Trusting that you'll get a job, trusting that you'll figure out what your life purpose is, trusting that things in general will work out. Um, and it's just kind of being a lesson that's being learned through love. And especially if you guys have been the type of person to really invest a lot of your time, attention, and energy kind of right away in connections, that's another reason why this is likely um, a lesson that you guys are learning because this is the thing. We got the Knight of Cups. We got the Six of Cups. This is an energy of someone who's serious. This is an energy of someone who's very much so willing and ready. But the thing is, the Knight of Cups, unlike the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups has been through some stuff. This person isn't perfect, so that makes even more sense because they're likely trying this out for the first time. You know, I really feel like the person, or this could be you, energy is fluid, um, this could be on your end. You're trying to take things slow with someone. But I feel like their first couple of relationships, they really ran into them. So both of you guys may be learning at the same time. You may be in a place where you've decided, I'm not going to jump into relationships. I'm going to allow people to actually show me who they are before I invest all my time, energy, and love into them. So both of you guys are trying to do this at the same time. Um, Ten of Pentacles, Prince of Wands in reverse. But like I was saying, there's progress being made here. This is someone that's pretty serious. They've been through a couple lessons already. And Six of Cups is progress, but definitely patience is uh, going to be required. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Prince of Wands. 
and I mean this in the best way possible they don't know what they want yet they're not sure that you're their person yet I'm not even gonna hold you but that's the point <coughs> getting to know someone and making sure so that they don't end up in another mistake it's not that they don't like you it's not that they don't have feelings for you it's just they're taking their time to genuinely get to know that so they don't get lost in the sauce of infatuation and feeling all the excited feels before actually getting to know someone i remember i dated someone once ciao why did i tell them my secrets like all of my secrets like within a month yikes like within two months of dating them they knew like everything there is about me I'm sorry, you cannot build loyalty in two months. It's just impossible. They don't know you to love you. You get it? So it's not that they don't care for you, but genuine love is not that butterfly feeling that you get in the beginning of relationships. They want to love you as they invest in you. And the more that they invest in you, the more that they will love you. But that's going to take time to build loyalty, to make sure you're someone they can trust, to make sure when they're having a bad day, you know how to handle it. You have to get someone, you get to get to know someone, you know, for that. You can't just take like the personality test and love language test and say, okay, my love language is quality time and my personality type is INFJ or whatever. And what's yours? Oh, they're compatible. We're good. Yeah. Like, no, they want to really take their time and actually know you. Um, like your middle name, your mom's name, your dad's name. Do they know any of that? Do they even, do they even know your friends? Like you guys just take things slow. Allow yourself to take things slow. Um, we got the eight of pentacles and the princess of pentacles. So you guys really have a keeper here, whether you're meeting them or if this is someone that you're currently building with. Now, if someone is treating you like absolute trash, that is not this person. Don't get it confused. This would be someone new entering your life and you're going to be able to tell the difference. But allow yourself to have patience with this process because this person is worth it. They got their head on straight. I'm liking how they're thinking. I'm liking how this is going. And you guys may be on the same wave with them. So ride the wave and be patient. And that was your message, you guys. Check me out on Patreon in the description below. I post my personal spells, collective spreads, and so much more on there. Um, also, check me out on Etsy. If you'd like your own private personal tarot reading, I don't do payment through Instagram DM. Be aware of fake accounts. I'll never DM you or anything like that. My only Insta is below. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check me out. Or actually, that was everywhere. So yeah, that was your pile. I'll talk to you later. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. All right, group four with the Redstone. Let's get right into it. What is going on in terms of love for you guys in the month of May? So the first card that we have that was under your stone is Deception. And I want you guys to stick with me here because I already, I'm already getting some downloads about this. I'm hearing the truth is being revealed. You being your authentic self. So I feel like, okay, so at the bottom of the card, it says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I feel like you guys may have been working really hard to try to be like the best version of yourself for another person. And the end of that is 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 pretty much very much so quickly approaching. You guys are tired of being inauthentic to make someone else happy. And you're realizing, oh, look at this. We have you deserve love and worth waiting for. Some of you guys have had a pretty nasty string of really bad karmic cycles with people who just weren't up to par with you. People who didn't understand you people who weren't just they just weren't on your level you deserve love you are lovable worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life a lot of you guys are realizing i can't be anyone else but me because it always flops i always end up with a person who is not understanding of me or doesn't have the ability to provide me what i want and need and it's because I, this is taking full responsibility, it's because I put off in the beginning that I wanted something different other than what I actually do or that I ex had different expectations other than what I actually do. So some of you guys, you're taking the mask off yourself. And deception is such a harsh word, but it is like an energy of wearing a mask. A lot of you guys are realizing you have been wearing a mask and that is what has been attracting these relationships with these people who aren't actually in alignment with you because you presented them something that would have been in alignment with them, thinking that they had the qualities that would satisfy you, but they didn't actually because they have the qualities that would satisfy someone who's actually on their vibration, not someone who has to like fix and change and uh, like contort themselves to be in alignment. Um, we have passion and love yourself first. 
So I see you guys excited again and a much better energy, a very positive energy. Um, I don't know why these don't want to focus. There they go. Um, you guys are in a really good energy now that you've released all the illusions surrounding your own self-worth and surrounding your sense of self, like who you are. Who you are has been rooted in other people, making other people happy, catering to other people. Man, I had something exciting, some exciting news happen the other day and um, I, t I was texting someone about it um, and they called me later that day and they were like, okay, so tell me about the news. And I'm like, well, I texted you. And they were like, well, tell me about it though. Like, that's really exciting. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I just didn't feel like being excited. And like the older version of me would have put on a happy, super excited face just to make other people feel good. But it's like, you know, you know, you got to release that. You have to release that need to make everyone else happy. It's like my intro. I'm going to be honest, like you guys know i don't do the same intro as much anymore like the really excited intro telling me to do that intro is like telling me to smile more like i wish people understood that i'm like getting on a rant but it's because i feel this energy so much and it's so important and i'm so proud of you guys because it is so so hard to like get away from that like that people pleasing i have to be a certain kind of way to make other people happy like it's actually a really, really huge deal, you guys. Like, it really is. Being your most authentic self is so important. And I'm so proud that you're actually, like, saying, you know what? I'm great as I am. And people are going to like that, too. But I'm not going to go out of my way to make people, you know, feel a certain kind of way. For what? Like, literally, for what? It's an injustice. We got the justice card that just came out. Let's see what else we get. Oh, wow, you guys. Wow. And look at this. We have the Ten of Cups. Um, Justice in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse, and, or sorry, the Ten of Coins. Ten, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, which I actually like more than the Ten of Cups because Ten of Pentacles is like that full family picture with the coins, the abundance, the stability as well. I'm here for it. You guys are getting a relationship that actually serves you. It's, it's all about you for once, group four. It's about you and your happiness because you're putting yourself first. You're not trying to put up these illusions to be the perfect version of what you think someone else wants to see. You fully accepted yourself. You're fully being yourself. And like I said, I'm so freaking proud of you guys because it is so hard to do. It's like deeply ingrained in society. Like to, especially, I, need, I don't want to be that person, but especially women, especially women so for my ladies okay watching like congratulations babes because this is a huge deal like i don't even want to get on a rant i don't even want to get on a rant i'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it today but i'm so so proud seriously i can look at this energy forever ace of cups in reverse justice in reverse you're realizing that you are working hard over time to fill up someone else's cup to fill up everyone else's cup your family your friends your co-workers you wanted to be the first smiling face people saw when they walked into the lobby of your job you also had to be that supportive friend that didn't get to talk about your problems to your other friends because you felt like they needed your support more and it's just like no you wanted to be super happy and supportive of that not shit ass person that you dated that didn't do the same for you and you're like you know what this is not getting me anywhere i don't feel authentic i'm running into these partners who don't support me they don't get me yada yada and you break free from that and you actually get a ten of pentacles relationship like that it is so crazy how manifestation works it's instant manifestation and the universe was just waiting for you guys to completely surrender i'm surprised we don't have like the six of um I'm surprised we didn't get the Six of Swords, my surrender card. <clears throat> but yeah, you guys, I'm so proud. This is um complete surrender to the process. Like, this is amazing. This is amazing. I'm blown away by this energy. <laughs> we got the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups in reverse, and the Princess of Pentacles in reverse. So I don't 
feel the need to sit on this energy too long to be honest this is just telling us more about your journey how it was hard for you eight of cups in reverse to walk away from certain situations how you repetitively dated like the same kind of people or went after the same kind of person how two of pentacles you consistently kind of struggled between wanting to be yourself and break free from the illusion the illusion that you had to create in order to feel wanted or desired or loved or appreciated Prince of Pen princess of pentacles in reverse disrespecting yourself to be honest disrespecting and disregarding yourself for other people um let me pull some moon cards for you guys your spread honestly took like a really unexpected turn like i didn't expect this to be all that but i'm so happy for you <coughs> full moon in taurus the new moon and the new moon in aries the new moon in aries at the bottom of that card it says it's time to take action so this is all about being your most authentic self now and to strip away <laughs> it reminds me of all these TikToks I've seen lately of these girls like shaving their heads. And this obviously isn't a spread just for girls, but I'm just thinking of like woman power now. And I'm like, that's so empowering. Like hair holds memory. Shave that off, okay? If you need to, like do what you need to do, baby girl. But you're doing great, sweetie. And I'm so proud of you. Baby girl, baby boy, all y'all. Okay, baby, baby, boo. Full Moon and Taurus, your dreams need a practical plan. So some of you guys are going to have to take steps to get here. Because getting here it won't just happen overnight. There's no motivational speech. There's a motivational speech that can make it click, but not one that can make it fully follow through. And to put you in this place where you truly feel this way and you truly appreciate yourself and you're the most authentic version of yourself. So for some of you, it's going to take some journaling and shadow work to get here, but I can see the future version of yourself and it's beautiful and i'm proud of you i'm proud of you now time doesn't exist you've already done it um a new start is coming with the new moon you guys i just i see um like 13 going on 30 like i just see you guys living this fabulous life being so authentic having bringing all the boys to the yard all the boys and the girls to the yard okay because they're attracted to you like a magnet because you're attracted to you like a magnet and you fully accept and love yourself the spread was a roller coaster that was your spread you guys like i said you guys get it i'm super super proud congratulations this is a big deal okay check me out on etsy in the description below if you would like your own private tarot reading um i don't do payment through instagram dm so um readings are only through etsy be aware of fake accounts my only insta is below like this video please subscribe to my channel and check me out on patreon i post my personal spells collective spreads and so much more on there and that was your spread. I love you. Be careful what you wish for. And I will see you in the next one. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description.